Hello everyone, I am Crota, and I will be going over a little bit of quote-unquote how to play Hex. Now, when I'm talking about how to play Hex, I'm not talking about, you know, turn by turn what you're supposed to do, but how to actually get the most out of your game. Now, for those of you guys who have been asking about whether the Steam bundle is necessarily that great, I will say it is a resounding no. Um, you should pro the Steam bundle is good if you have Steam uh, Steam money and you you can pay for it, but the best value in the game is to actually buy platinum through the game. Now, if you go ahead and take a look down over here, uh, well, off to the side you can't see it, but this is the VIP program and the platinum interface, and you will notice that 100 platinum is worth one dollar. Now, why is that important? Because depending on how you pay, the um, the amount you get is slightly different. The sky real, yeah, see, um, depending on how you pay, it actually changes. Steam is one of those systems where you actually get a little bit less platinum. So if you want to buy and buy direct, if you have PayPal, you can buy 2,000 platinum for $19.99. And that's actually one of the better deals. From there, if you are trying to be um, an actual collective player, if you're trying to build your collection, play in tournaments, play in PvP as well, the next thing you want to do is, well, head over to the battlegrounds and play in tournaments. What you're going to see here is a list of tournaments where the queue is constantly getting full. Competitive draft queue is the best way to... Um, no, the competitive draft queue is the best way to play the game. Now, you may be wondering, okay, so what, what do I do? In order to play in a draft, you need to have three packs of cards and 100 plat, right? Those three packs of cards, you are already going to open in the game. It's not like they magically disappear. It's not like they, magic, they, they are lost. You open those packs. And for 100 platinum, you have a chance to win more packs. If you win one best of three you win two packs so essentially what's what's happening here is you pay 100 platinum and you have a 50 50 shot of turning that 100 platinum into two packs which is worth 400 platinum um i don't know how the math is working out this particular way but this is how players are able to quote unquote go infinite if you're a, if you're good at the game and you can convert gold into platinum in the trade channel and then build in this particular manner. That's actually the best way to build it. Opening packs constantly through the um, competitive draft queue is the best way to do it. It does take time, but unlike the grind in Hearthstone, unlike the grind in some of the other games that I've played out there, it's constantly changing and it's constantly different. Now, the next video that I'm going to be posting up is probably going to be next week after the launch of Primal Dawn. The reason for that is because the, the whole entire draft scene is going to change. Um, right now, you are opening up three armies of Myth Booster Packs. Next week, you are going to be opening up two Primal Dawn Booster Packs and one armies of Myth. And that is extremely important because your card selection is changing and therefore the strategies are going to change the cards you see are going to change the champions that are getting introduced in primal dawn are going to change the game dramatically so that's why i haven't gone over drafting just quite yet i do have a video out there of drafting the first pack of the hex invitational eight players and watching everyone draft it if you guys haven't found it i'll probably put a link to it in the description or you know put a little box like right here that says hey it's right here click here is it this one this way yeah okay anyways that's what i will probably do so you can get a good idea of what drafting is but that is the best way now if say you have your tw say you spend your 20 dollars, you have your 2000 plat how do you get your initial packs your initial packs, there's two ways to get them. You can either buy them from the store, which is right here. You'll buy two armies, one two or one armies of myth, two primal dawn, depending on when you are watching this video. I'm assuming if you watch it next week, that's what you're going to be doing. And then you pay your hundred. Now, one thing that is important to note: 
every time you get a pack through the store or as a tournament reward, you have a 2% chance to proc a primal pack. What is a primal pack? A primal pack is a pack of 15 cards where all of the cards are rare and two except for two which are going to be legendary they are crazy 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 packs and extremely valuable also remember there's only a two percent chance of them actually being generated so um, it happens once once in a blue moon sort of thing but that is why when you go to the auction house and you look for packs let's go ahead and go for packs and then go for armies of myth because i can't show you primal dawn pack prices are slightly lower now be careful on the buy it now price 172 um, and the minimum bid of 160 look if you are looking to build it or build your pack immediately notice there's a 171 right there um if you look over some more uh 170 yeah 172 um, I've seen it go down to like 168 if you're really, really trying to pinch for that last, um, for those packs. Now, even if you only, say say you go into the tournament, you only, you spend your 100 platinum, you only get two packs, you, st you have slightly less than a 4% chance, uh, you can do the math, in, in order to get a primal pack in that, in that tournament. If you get first place, you have slightly less than, I believe, 10%. It's like a 9.7% like chance of getting a primal pack. And those primal packs are worth about 2,000 plat. Actually, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what the, what the, oh, auction house, um, what, what the primal packs look like. So primal pack of armies of myth. Um, you can see their value. Um, 1,200 armies of myth has been out for quite some time. If I show you for all of them, um, yeah, set one primal pack are worth 22, uh, 22 dollars or 2200 plat, so on and so forth. So that is really how you want to be playing the game. Now, I know people are going, oh my gosh, what about the sleeves that you are supposedly able to get from the Steam, um, the Steam bundle? Right now, that Steam bundle. Actually, I need to choose a character. That that Steam bundle sleeve, hopefully the campaign loads. I know there's been a bit of an issue. Um, this, that sleeve, the Uzume uh, sleeve that is also included, is, um, is something that drops in the campaign. Now, right now, Hex Ent has said that their servers are having a bit of an issue, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer to load. But if you want that sleeve, go to this location right here lake while while using i haven't i don't even know the names of all of these nodes so maybe they're maybe that's actually going to be important in lore at some point if you go here you do the engagement here you will then be rewarded with the sleeve the sleeve that is in question here i will go ahead and pull it up and and hopefully you guys have a little bit more of an understanding now if you guys have any additional questions please, please, please feel free to ask. I really enjoy Hex. I think Hex is uh, one of the best games out there. Um, for anyone who is a hardcore, really likes trading card games, likes building a collections, likes bringing friends into a game and then giving them free stuff to be like, hey, it's really good. Try it out. Here's some free stuff. I've, I've probably given away I've, I've probably given away over like three, four hundred dollars worth of stuff in, in the game just because I want people out there to really, really enjoy it. But yeah, anyways, the sleeve that I am talking about is is this sleeve right here. The Izume Grand Concubunny sleeve. It is obtained through the campaign or Steam. Now, once you unlock this node, you can head over there, beat the wounded pedal guy and grab your sleeve. Any other questions, please feel free to leave them below. I will be going over drafting and I will be posting up uh, my VIP tournament run. I believe VIP tournament starts tomorrow. So that I, I'm going to be doing that. And hopefully I don't go 0-3 and have to drop. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.